Hello, hi, how are you today? In this video, I wanna to talk to you about what's commonly called the mirror. Now, some of you might be familiar with the mirror and I wanna clarify a lot of things in this video so that you have a better handle on it and that you really know the purpose of it. So let's get started and jump right in. So the mirror, I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay, because there is some ugly stuff with the mirror to know about. But here's the thing. For people who are activated, it's not always like it's something that, you know, you're seeing this mirror. This can show up in several situations for you. So first, let's talk about the good. The first thing about the mirror is it's not really using your mind. It's you using your senses, okay? Your mind can be a part of that because it's helping you interpret, but you have to deepen your discernment to really understand what is the mirror trying to tell you. So mirror is not just a tool. The mirror can show up to show you things and who is showing you. It's your own higher self. So you can feel sometimes that it's opposite day. What does that feel like? It feels like you're having a really good time, but somehow you sense your twin flame is not. They are going through stuff. You can't run to the internet and look them up either. In fact, it's best if you don't. You have to rely on your senses because the next step is what is the next in your integration of your brand new blueprint, your template, your twin flame body, what is the next step to help them in that situation? So you could be going along hunky-dory or you could have the opposite. You could sense they're somehow doing okay. They're stabilizing you while you go through stuff. They're holding steady. Even if they're in a situation, they're holding steady. And so that's why I call it opposite day. You have to be able to discern this. Are you having opposite things going on because it's your turn to do something or take action on it? The emotions, the movement, other things that happen. Doors open for you, but they close for them. Maybe you have a breakthrough, okay? Maybe they are not. They're feeling really bitter and inconsolable about their situation or something but you're starting to break free. If you're not breaking free from some things, if you're not embarking at a new level, it's time to join my webinars. Okay, the other thing with the mirror is you catch body prompts. These could be anything from digestive stuff, nutrition, it can be sleep issues, it could be family things, it could be financial things. What kind of prompts are you getting? I'm gonna give you an example. There was a situation years ago with my twin where my twin really liked shopping therapy. My twin would get upset and just wanna go spend every red cent that she had. So here's the thing, um, we need to be thrifty. I had to pull the brakes back on this. I had to be like, pump the brakes, you can't do this. You can't have reactive or addictive behaviors. You can't be doing this where you regret it later. We have to work on this. And so what happened? Worked on it. Okay. That's where you should be getting body prompts. How do you catch this? And how do you even know? Like, how would I get that much detail? It came right through my twin flame body where I was like, oh, now I know what's happening on the other side. Like they're feeling all elated for like about five seconds and then it dissipates and then there's regrets and there's bitterness and more stuff to deal with. How would you like to nip it in the bud? How would you like to be able to do this through your twin flame body? So it can be several aspects of this. I had another situation where twin flame wasn't eating enough protein and guess what? I had to eat enough protein to continue the buildup of the tissues and send those energetic signals through the body because that is how your twin flame learns. You can't pick up the phone. And for those of you in separation like me, you can't do anything except through your heart, through your light body. That's how it works. Okay, the next one, things get ugly forcing you into action. 
What if you're supposed to do something and it's been nagging at you and nagging at you and nagging at you? Or what if they are supposed to do something? You can get a really strong mirroring situation. You can see signals. You can see clues. For example, is it time for them to vacate a region, a geography, a house? Is it time to put a house up on the market? Is it time for them to do something with their family? Is it time for some kind of financial things? Then you need to detect that, pick up on it, tune in. You tune into your body and here's the kicker with this, okay? Because it could be a job situation. Are they supposed to, you know, quit the job? But are you supposed to quit your job? You have to be balanced about this and doing it through your light body enables the actions to take place through the non-physical movement of your light body, through the heart communication that sends the emotions of it, and sometimes words and other signals and clues. Otherwise, left to their own devices, they'll just keep tumbling in the washing machine. So I had a situation where it was a really tough one. And it was about, you know, selling the house. And everything in me was saying, I don't feel I should be the one to do this. But I wound up doing grid work to enable it to be smooth for my twin flame because that's what needed to happen on the other side. But I was clearly getting signals of like, call the realtor sell the house, do this, do that. And you have to be able to tell yourself and be able to tell and tune into your twin, okay? The next thing, if you break up, they break up, okay? Do your breakups. If you need help with that, that's what I'm here for, to do it properly, graciously, from the highest level possible, and with the good of all concerned so that it can happen expediently, even if it might take months, even if there's financial things to settle, okay? And this is the number one thing that keep people in terrible relationships, financial fear, okay? Your soul doesn't want you to be afraid, but this happens to women a lot. What will I do? What will become of me? Where am I going to live? If I break up, I know what will happen. No, we're not in duality anymore. We are making it happen and making it smooth through the integration of your light body. Okay? So if you break up or if someone breaks up with you, you can get over the pain. You can heal those parts of you and you can move upwards and ascend. I want to remind you, they are inside you. They activated you. And the awakening may have come from a soulmate. Some people do. In my new book coming out, I have stages of awakening. I have types of awakening. Watch for it or send me an email if you're interested. Okay, now another really good mirror. Mirrored situations from the public that shows you where they are at. Now, this one is kind of wild because you will feel like you are a witness or a spectator to something. You will feel like you're seeing something. It's not personally affecting you. It could be like you're out for a bite to eat and you see a couple and they're arguing. It's in how it feels. Okay. It's different than a normal, just like, oh, that couple's arguing. It's going to feel like I feel like my soul is showing me something here then, and it feels like this is a reflection of what's happening on the other side. You could feel it in your body. You could feel arguments going on. You could feel bad situations. And there are people that are stand-ins for this to show you. It's like they're actors playing out a thing. It's real to them. But for you, it is no longer feeling like it's just something. You're feeling it with a different impact of like, pay attention. This is showing you something, okay? So these are some of the good things that happen because these are things that are necessary to happen. So let's talk about the bad, okay? The bad is here, you use your mind instead of your twin flame body, okay? You... You have people out there that are saying, you know, putting the onus on you to say, like, figure it out. Use your head. Okay. 
There's a difference between using your mind because your mind will analyze it instead of using your common sense and your senses. Your mind will do things like, well, I think they're avoiding something and then it'll be all vague and it won't be clear, okay? And then people will tell you, well, turn that around. What are you avoiding, okay? And you'll make a little list. It is not the same as working the problem through, your, through the integration of your light body and using your twin flame body. That's the purpose in it. So that you can align with each other and forget about the rest of the world. You get in a state where you are lost, confused, stuck, and in a state of inertia. Again, if you're not using your twin flame body, that will happen from time to time. You don't know what your next steps are. Other people are telling you, oh, that's the time to grow. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know how to grow. They don't know how to expand. They don't know how to integrate. And that's what I'm here for. It's not that you just grow like, I mean, you know, it, it's, that's very random. It's way too vague. It needs to be much more proactive and specific. This is why people stay stuck in cycle to cycle to cycle because they're missing the bus. Another bus will come along, but at what point do you want to keep this inertia? Okay. My modality gets results for people where they start feeling the shift within the time of doing the session or the webinar. It's just that way. I pride myself on that. Okay, you think, so let's say they're in a relationship and you're sitting there going, well, if I look at the mirror, I'm not in a relationship. I've been celibate or I'm not dating. I'm not in the dating scene but they're married or they're, they keep doing this. They keep going out there. But the old way and the old paradigm was you're going to cast daggers with your eyes at the person they're with. You're going to, you know, I see it all the time. These love spells and potions that people get. That's old superstitious stuff. And yet sometimes the mind picks up and they're like, I wonder what I could do. Maybe I could cast a spell. What you do is you focus on you. Okay, you continue the celibacy. So it's bad if you just throw up your hands and you say, well, what's the point anyway? Look what they're doing. Bad, 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 bad. Not going to help you. Okay, that will force a breakup. That's not what forces the breakup. What forces the breakup is reintegration of your energies so they are not over there supporting or really supporting anyone. They have to support you. Your own energy has to support you first and foremost. Then maybe you could turn around and help others. This is where it's different because the serving humanity, that's your energy out there. Get it back to you, level it up, and then figure out what are the other gifts and skills. There's a way to do it through the integration of your twin flame body. Hey, you think about what it is they are hung up on instead of yourself. You spend far too much time mentally analyzing their head, um, their maleness, their femaleness, their what are they doing? What do they do for work? Like, okay, don't even bother. Focus on you and focus on, you know, how this is making you feel, okay? Feelings and sensations and emotions are vitally important in this process. You have a full spectrum. So if you feel angry, okay, we have ways to get rid of that anger. But focus, mentally analyzing it isn't going to help. We want to remove it and get you moving along. Okay, the next one that is along the bad side here, you do not pay attention to your sacral or reproductive area. This is going to be hitting not just women, because women are already feeling the death throes of their reproductive cycles, there is a new level for you to experience so that it feels much better and it actually feels good. It feels like how a sacral area is supposed to feel. It feels like you have had a repair job in your sacral area and that you're brand new and that you're ready for love, okay? You're not ready to go back out into the cesspool of soulmates. You're ready for love. So, your reproductive area actually has real parts. I don't like it when I hear that people aren't at least getting some baseline uh, results of tests because 
here's the thing. Your reproductive area is affected by your ancestry and history. So this is why you need to pay attention to you. It's your ancestry. It's your biology. It's your genetics. It's your DNA gearing up with your now four strand DNA. So how do you do this? You can't pay attention to what they're doing. Men too feel this, okay? Men are having things like ED and prostate issues and all kinds of other stuff. Your uterus is tied to its prostate in case you are a male-female couple. If you're female-female, guess what? You're going to feel your other half's periods at times when you don't want to. If you're male-male, you're going to feel some of those aches and pains too. The headaches, the migraines, the depressions, because... And everyone will, because that's the way of it. It's time to purge out all of the old stuff from the ancestry. So you have to pay attention to you. And I'm going to leave you with this. Some of the stuff, well, it feels like interference due to the boomerang effect. Okay. A lot of people talk about twin flame interference it's not like there's like these dark forces. People will sit there and tell you there's dark forces. I'm going to sit here and say, yeah, there's a lot of dark people on the planet. There's also a lot of depressed, anxious, negative people. Um, there are people that are psychopaths. It all collectively adds to it. However, you can rise above it where it doesn't feel like interference. And that is the up leveling I'm talking about because your twin flame body doesn't want it to keep boomeranging on you. Your twin flame body and your soul and your higher self wants you up for a new level of experience, for a new life, for new love, for the brand new love that you're really here for. So what I'm going to say here is we're done talking about the mirror. We're going to expand on this a lot more. Join my webinar. My webinar is to help you get your channels opened. It's to help you to do the things that you need to do to get started with your integration. We will be focusing on reproductive, particularly for women, and there's some segments for men too. And, you know, how do you do this? How do you, just join, okay? Just join, follow the instructions. I'm not gonna tell you in this, uh, I'm not gonna tell you everything in here because it takes time to phase in. You have to phase it in and you need other instructions and you need the help of a Blu-ray Twin Flame. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame, I'm a prototyper, been through all this stuff. I could tell you stories and stories and stories. I'd love for you to join my webinar, tell me your story, come listen, question and answers, live intuitive answers, and please share this video, like, subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.